Right, so we have Kim Kardashian who is literally breaking down and she's looking at Kendall and she says, I feel like a fool. And we know she's talking about her divorce. I think she is. Yeah, I feel like a loser. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And let's get straight into this video. So a new trailer has released for the last season of Keeping Up and we can see that Kim is getting very emotional. She feels like a fool. She probably does because she's getting divorced again. And a lot of people, when they get divorced, listen, you can, you can get divorced five times. If there's an issue with the man that you're with and you feel like you need to divorce to be happy and get away from him, then by all means do so. Two. Yeah. Got a call from Caitlin, but I just don't know. Am I gonna wanna go down this road? I don't know if mom has any more to give. The idea of feeling shame from being, from being divorced, I feel like really roots down in a lot of like, you know, um, just old fashioned kind of nonsense. And I just feel like, you know, marriage in itself is quite outdated. I just feel like all of this stuff, yes, there are important sanctities, but people just get married for the sake of it. Um, like Kim and her first person, I believe. Uh, or was that the second person? I think she's been married and divorced three times. Um, not that it's a major shame. Um, we also have Kylie. I feel like she keeps smiling in a weird way. You get weird angles of her. Either they do it on purpose, which I doubt. But, you know, her face does look a little bit weird, like a little bit stretched out. And I find it just to be worrying. You know, I did a video on Chloe herself. I feel like these two specifically, Chloe and Kylie, I'm quite worried for them. I feel like Kim has got it on point when it comes to trying to do all the surgery. Kendall is chill and Courtney looks great for her age and always has. And I don't think she was really obsessed with it, but I'm sure they've all done things here and there but I feel like some of them do OTT and Kylie is also one of them I feel like the girl is only 24 I believe 24 so how are you going to look in 10 years time like you know a lot of this stuff can it's just it's just crazy it's, it's quite scary and I just keep seeing it in these trailers where Kylie is always looking a bit weird or Courtney in, or, or Chloe sorry um, because of the surgery and I'm, I'm not anti-surgery I'm just I would say I am but like just do it carefully Apparently, Courtney and Scott are getting married. This is a lie. This is not going to happen. They married to Scott. I love you. I'm trying to reel in as much of story times as they can. They're talking about marriage, getting back together again. It would be a great ending, but I don't think it's going to happen because they did carry a lot of the show. Therefore, they would want to put that as a nice final ending. We also have Chloe apparently going to have baby number two. You're trusting the surrogate with your unborn child, and it's just yeah. scary. Talking about having another child together, but you don't want to say you're official. I'm not no like secret. Tristan, but they're going to have a surrogate. I think a surrogate is a great thing to have um, if you can afford it, because I feel like, you know, you and somebody you can trust, um, it can be a good way to have a baby um, without feeling, you know, the kind of such a toll because women go through a lot with a pregnancy so if you can avoid that um but then again you don't feel that psychological attachment so it's interesting let me know your thoughts are guys when it comes to this subscribe to the channel click that button guys for daily and consistent content and i'll catch you guys soon for another video